Welcome to lesson four in the volume series of lessons at National 5. Today we're going to look at volume of a sphere. Coming into this lesson you've looked at volumes of prisms, cylinders, both of which you don't get on the formula sheet. And we've looked at pyramids and cones, both of which you do get on the formula sheet. Now in all of those cases we had a formula and we need to know how to use it. Same again for here. With the sphere you have a formula. It is given to you in the formula sheet, this one, so you don't need to remember it, you just need to know how to use it. Now there's your first page of your notes, volume of a sphere. The volume of a sphere is given by the formula 4 thirds times pi by pi r cubed. Now it may look a little bit more banging, but in reality it's quite easy to use this one. There is only one thing you need to substitute in. Okay, 4 thirds, that's just a number, pi is just a number. The only thing you need is that radius. If you know the radius, you can calculate the volume of a sphere. One mistake that's made far, far too often for all us maths teachers, where you're copying that down when you're when you're using it in an exam or in a test, make sure that you're copying it down. Double check this one because you've worked with pi r squared so often. Sometimes you can go into auto drive and you can do four thirds and then you start writing pi r and it just becomes pi r squared. It's not pi r squared. It's pi r cubed. Okay, please do not make that mistake. It breaks our hearts. Okay, so there's your first page of your notes, and I'm going to do two examples with you. Then I'm going to give you two that you can uh, leave two with you to try. We have a sphere here, radius of 12 centimetres. So it's dead easy. It's going to be 4 thirds multiplied by pi r, uh, four, sorry, 4 thirds multiplied by pi r cubed. Now here, your radius is 12. So all we're doing is substituting 12 in to our equation. So it's 4 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by 12 cubed and that's going to give us the answer when we type in our calculator 7238.229 and so on. Now let's look at it to three different figures again. 1, 2, 3. The next one's an 8. So when we round that for our final answer our round in it's going to be 7240. We're talking about volume, which is a three dimensional thing, so it's centimeters cubed. That's example one, and it is just as easy as that. Being able to use your formula, substitute in a radius. Example two, a little bit more involved. We have a hemisphere there rather than a sphere, we've got a half sphere. I'm going to do a little bit of working just at the side now, just to show you. You don't need to copy this down. Now, here, what we have is we have half a sphere. So we want half of 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now you can write it like that, you can do it like that. Calculate the area of a sphere and then half it at the end. But we know, if we just look in there, we're doing a half of 4 thirds essentially. You've got a big line of multiplications there. You can just do the first two in any order you like. So a half of 4 thirds, that really means 2 thirds. So to get the volume of a hemisphere, you can do it the long way, calculate the volume of the whole sphere and then half at the end. Or what you can do is just half that four thirds, half a four is two, so this is going to be two thirds pi r cubed. So the volume for this is two thirds pi r cubed. And again, all we need to use this is the radius. That's here though, that's 28 centimetres, that's the whole way across, so that's the diameter. So for us to get that radius to put in, all we need to do is half it. So it's 2 thirds multiplied by pi multiplied by 14 cubed. And then you type in your calculator. And it gives you 5747.0201 and so on. Let's do a significant figure, let's do 1, 2, 3, 7, after that line, I'll round it up to be 5, 7, 5, 0, so it makes it, what's up there, 5, 7, 5, 0 centimetres cubed. Okay, there's your two examples, that's your processes, that's what you have to do to calculate the volume of, of the spheres. There's two examples. The first one for you, just straightforward, calculate the volume of the sphere. The second one's a little bit more involved. 
that's where you kind of get into it, you're just calculating the volume of, of different things. But you're at a stage now where a lot easier to be able to do that. So give that a wee try. And if you're not getting the answers I'm about to show, come in and just see if you can figure it out by yourself first. And if not, come in and we'll sort that out in, in the faculty. So I'll pause it if you want to try them. I'm about to put the answers up. There you go. So you can check them, see if you're right. Thanks very much. See you later.